Good morning, pastors. Thank you very much for, for watching this video this morning. I just want to encourage you as we wait upon the Lord this morning for the word of God to be ministered. God gave me a prophetic word in the early hours of this morning concerning his church and concerning the bride of Christ. God said to me, are we doing what he has called us to do in the way that he's called us to do it. So often as ministers and as pastors and leaders, we can get caught up, so easily caught up, in the things of running a service. Sunday becomes almost mundane and routine, where we start with an opening prayer, some praise songs, some worship songs, then we do some announcements and we take up the offering and then we preach and then we pray for the people. Then we close and go home. And there's nothing wrong with that. And it's good. And it, and it brings order and discipline in the word of God. But God said to me this morning, have I called you just to do the pattern of the old? Or have I called you this morning to break out of the box, break out of the routine, break out of the mundane I'm not talking just about being radical, although I'm quite radical, and I thank God that I'm radical. I never want to be boring. But I'm asking you this morning, what is God laying on your heart for the service this morning? What is God laying on your heart to do this morning that He's commissioned us to do? And not just because we're doing the mundane routine Sunday. And so as you prepare to preach, pray, prophesy, declare, and decree this morning, I want to pray for you that God would break open your box and that the oil of the Holy Spirit would flow out and touch lives in a new and a different way. Father, I thank you for the pastors that are watching this video. Lord, I pray that you would bless them, minister to them and encourage them, Father, greatly. That, Lord, they would not do just the normal Sunday. But, Father, there would be a new revelation, a new anointing and a new flow. New bread, new anointing, new wine into new wineskins. Father, I thank you right now for the power of the Spirit of God to come and touch every service, Father, for your glory and to your kingdom's grace. I pray, Lord, this morning that the routine and the mundane would be broken, that a new excitement and a new fire would begin to burn within the church, that, Lord, it would attract those that are away from church at the moment, those that don't come in fellowship. I pray, Lord, that there'd be such a revival fire that people will want to come. They will run, as your word said, they will run to come to the house of the Lord. And so, Lord, bring back revival in the church. Bring back revival in the pulpit. Bring back, Holy Spirit, your presence and your anointing in Jesus' name. Pastors, I love you. Have a beautiful day. And may God richly bless you.